What is today? My favorite day. Story time Sunday. Jimothy! Jimothy! Subscribe to Jimothy. H O W D Y Howdy Cream Pack. Now, if you've scrolled at any point on the internet this past week, you'd see that the talk of the town is this whole Popeye's chicken sandwich versus Chick fil A chicken sandwich debacle. Battle of the two chicken giants. Now, why is this battle so insane? My d all Popeyes did was slap a couple slices of bread and some pickles on some chicken they already sell! Oh well, damn near breaking the internet and the backs of the Popeye chefs too! I'm big mad! If I would've known that, I would've headed on down to my local grocery store, bought some flaccid pickles and a loaf of whole grain buns, and rocked that on my body like a pair of Wrangler jeans and a flannel! Boy, my crush wouldn't know what to do when you see me out here looking like a whole snack and a half as a whole internet talking about me! You know what? F*** it! I hope she sees this, bro! Anyway, so let's get into the basics of these establishments. Chick-fil-A, known for having impeccable customer service and abundance of sauces, word to the Polynesian, never open on Sunday, I still ain't forgave these n****s for that, and a juicy, flavorful, classic chicken sammy that sits upon a toasted, buttered bun and two slices of pickles. Here we are. <coughs> Tasty. Okay, cool. What about the Popeyes? Ah! Uh, what you want? Uh, uh, sorry, ma'am. I, I I just wanted to have the new chicken sandwich from Popeyes and 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 possibly some spare coochie. If that wouldn't be too much to ask. Boy, take your damn chicken sandwich and get the fuck out my restaurant. Well, that's Popeyes for you. Ding. <coughs> my God, delightful. Now I know what y'all came here for. I ain't dumb. You want to know who truly wins this whole chicken showdown of the century? You want to know who wins? You! Me! Us, my nigga! We all win when establishments compete. Competition is the healthiest way that we, the consumers, get the greatest products. Ain't nobody trying to compete with the old Taco Bell Double Crunch Wrap Supreme, and that's why I always get explosive diarrhea three hours after eating it. Competition drives companies to outdo their competitors so that they can compete for your dollars. Both these chicken sandwiches are great, y'all, because of competition and the loud voices of your dollars. Now, knowing this, I want to talk about a time in my life where I tried to create a little bit of competition. Stick with me here. So back in the day, I was seeing this cute little cream bar without the flavor on the outside. Let's just say her name was, uh, Sarah. She was a cool gal. I mean, really cool. And one day, she decided to make some dinner for your boy. I almost said a thug to her, because I ain't never had a girl care about me like that. So I was excited. I thought about this all week. So I pull up to her apartment, knock on the door, she opens up, and says, Oh, perfect! You made it just in time for dinner! My n I start jumping, getting giddy, and I set my happy popsicle stick down at a seat at her dining room table. She's carrying my plate of food, and she sets it down on the table. And guess what a n to see. Boy, I see my next hospital visit! She served me a big-ass plate of canned sweet peas, she had just popped out her easy big microwave, uncooked Batman-shaped pasta straight from the box, with Tostitos nacho cheese dip poured on top. Talk about, I made you some fettuccine Alfredo. I don't know who fettuccine is, but I know he's somewhere turning over in his grave, mad as hell at this shit. And lastly, some sliced, unseasoned, boiled, skinless, medium-rare, Chicken breast. I need to start panicking. I really like this girl too. So I ate all of it. This ain't nothing like Chick fil A. You know what? Fuck it. They got great service, but not make out with me on the couch during a Netflix movie kind of service. So I had to hide all that food under my tongue like Bubble Bass did with them pickles on SpongeBob. She tried to kiss me after dinner too, but I had to dip out like Cinderella at 12 because she ain't kissing me with them damn salmonella lips. She had to wait for that ensuing food poison and exit through her system before I was finna come back for a smooch. So. Knowing what I knew, the fact that I still liked this girl, I decided she needed a little competition to step her game up. Now, I ain't never said I was the smartest brother around, but hey, this idea of mine seemed ironclad. In my head, I was a genius. Okay, so I've always had a thing for one of God's gifts, Latinas. I knew this beautiful girl that just so happened to know how to make one of my favorite genres of food, Mexican food. So what I do? Competition, baby! Black men don't cheat either, so I said fuck it, I'm white today. I hit up old girl, and we'll just call her, uh, Larquasiana. Hey, look at me. I'm big man. You just judge this Latina queen stereotypical African American name, which I just made up. Now, I ain't saying you're racist, but you're walking on thin ice, buddy. Also, sorry, I couldn't come up with another name. Anyway, I shoot my shot. I go over, and I have the most splendid, guilt-free meal of my life. Remember, black men don't cheat. I'm white today, and 
I'm just doing the right thing and creating a little competition because I, the consumer, might start getting better meals. Selfish? No. My girl Sarah finna start cooking like Betty Crocker, Aunt Jemima, and Rachel Ray after all is said and done. La Quashiana probably finna step up her cooking game too. Everybody wins. Competition. Phase one of my plan was now complete. I head back over to my girl Sarah's house wearing the scent of Kanye Asada and delicious frijoles. <coughs> I can still taste it on my tongue too. <sighs> I knock on my sweet little Sarah's door, and all of a sudden, I see that she fixed the greatest feast I had ever seen in my life! Collard greens, lobster, macaroni and truffle cheese, filet mignon with a marbling score of A7! And yes, it was Japanese Wagyu beef that had been dry aged for over 60 days! Exquisite! And you know what? I know she's seasoned all this shit well, too! You know when you go to your auntie house, open up the door, and get a tsunami-sized wave crash across your body, filling your nasal cavities with the warm smells of herbs and spices as the room humidity is approximately 70% or higher, owing most of that moisture to the broth that she's been working on for the past two days, and that sweat that's been dripping down off her hard-working forehead, just to be evaporated into the air, letting you know that that food was made with love, precision, and a little bit of elbow grease? Appreciate you, auntie. That was the oxygen that filled this house. This girl Sarah must have smelled the food Lord Kwashiana made for me and decided she was finna put her competitors out of business. I go in and devour that masterpiece of a meal, and guess what I see? A big nigga named Craig sitting in my seat eating all my damn food! But, but Sarah! Baby, why?! Turns out her and LaQuashiana were best friends! Sarah left me! LaQuashiana left me! Not Larlar! That ugly nigga named Craig start piping down both my girls! They in a loving, committed, polyamorous relationship! Both them women earned a Michelin star at the highly successful restaurant they started! I've been single since the dollar bill was invented! And now, I work as a janitor at Popeyes! So I am officially, legally obligated to say that the new Popeyes chicken sandwich is the best chicken sandwich out right now. I love you and see you next week. Don't melt. Cause boy, what the fuck you want for Popeyes? Hurry up and order and get the fuck out my establishment. Do you like that? Man? Oh. Okay. Yes, sir. I got you on my mind, on my face. Hello? This is Tiff Filet. How may I take your order, please? Uh, Psych! It's Sunday, bitch! This is Popeyes! What the fuck you want, nigga? You know what time it is. It's shout out time. Welcome to the Cream Pack, new and old. Now, if you like this video, feel free to comment down below or tell some friends about us. It really helps us to grow. Also, details for the monthly giveaway in the description section below. All right, Cream Pack. Shouts out to Jessica Match, Nick B, Denzel, Boy Meme, Black Ice, EH, AJ West, Eunice, Hoser though, Daniel Van Ginkle, Jacob Needs to Wake Up, Austin Tube, LOF Times Tsunami, JJ2743, XO Anthony Drip, Psych on Mike, Zen Entertainment, Antonio Rivera, Yes Sir, and JDC Animate Slash Stories. I love ya, and see you next week.